hi guys welcome back to my channel please ignore the mess that's back there it's i'm packing for a trip that i'm hopefully gonna be taking you guys on just to like show you guys what we do um it's gonna be more of like it is a vacation but i am taking a lot of stuff to film and take content with so it'll be very interesting and fun but today i wanted to sit down and um film for you guys how i curl my hair i did do an igtv video about how i curl my hair when i had longer hair but now that i've cut it shorter i do do a different method i have a different curling iron probably should turn that on there you go um so yeah i thought i would sit down and film this because i know that it's pretty requested um and it has been requested on my TikTok and on my Instagram. So I thought I would just put it on YouTube and sit down and film it for you guys. And maybe throw in some chit chat stuff while we're at it. Um, so you guys get to know me more, everything like that. So yeah, if you are interested in watching this video and seeing how I curl my hair, then let's get into the video. Okay, so obviously i washed my hair this morning i know you're not supposed to really curl your hair when it's clean but to be honest like i'm don't have time tomorrow to do it i also just self tan so i had to like wash off stuff i had to wash off my self tan this morning everything like that so i um actually don't section off my hair which i know for thicker haired girls it's probably not a good idea but be honest it works for me so i don't really care and also i don't want to take that much time to do it uh i know i'm pretty lazy like that but i just i don't want to do it so honestly i just put my hair well obviously one side to one side and the other to the other and okay so i do have smaller bangs in the front than i usually have had so i do those a little bit differently so i'll show you guys how i do that okay so the first okay so I'm, i'll show you the wand that i use so this is the eva nyc um curling wand and i actually haven't used a curling wand in years like i don't i did not like curling wands at all but for some reason obviously when i saw delaney childs use it and she has kind of like the same length of hair as me and it looked really good on her i was like you know what i'll try it out and this is amazing so what i'll do is i'll split my hair down the middle I part my hair in the middle, so I'm just going to take, I'm going to start from the back, and I usually take about this big section, I don't know, I'm, not, I'm very like not traditional with this, so I'll just start wrapping it around, and honestly I used to leave like a good chunk of hair out of it, but to be honest, I haven't been doing that, I'm not sure why, but I just haven't, so I kind of like move it around the barrel and I just throw it in the back I don't even touch it so once that piece is done I'll take another piece and I'll curl it away or towards my face so I actually alternate I usually also never used to do this but it also gives my hair a lot of texture and I don't like the look of it going one way I used to do that and I don't know it just made all the curls stick together and it didn't give more of a like effortless beachy wave so I'm gonna just see that and so I just kind of literally do that all the way it's so simple and I do it all the way around my head there's really not not much to it other than that but I thought I would more do like a chit chat video. I'm not really sure even what I want to talk about. Someone asked me um, on my Instagram what my Duncan order was. And to be honest, I will say that I am more of a Duncan fan than I am Starbucks. I do have Starbucks sitting right next to me though. Because my sweet person I work for, Aurora, gave me a Starbucks gift card. And obviously coffee is life i have coffee every single morning that is something i treat myself to every single day people think i'm like crazy for doing that they're like that is so that's such a waste you can make your coffee at home and yes i could but you know what that's what when you work for yourself and you work from home 
and that's what you get excited about every morning, do it. So, yeah, I have that every morning, either Dunkin' or Starbucks. Honestly, I have a fear that the Dunkin' people are going to know me too well. And so I, like, tried to switch up, like, what I was going to, like, Starbucks and then Dunkin'. But then I had a very traumatic experience with Starbucks. And honestly, I think it has to do with something with the cream. Like, the certain Starbucks I go to, every single time, I've had a problem with the cream. I don't know what it is. I don't know if they use, like, old milk or something. I have no idea. But it has, like, really messed up my stomach to the point of, like... I get really traumatized every time I get Starbucks like what is gonna happen to my stomach and it really never used to happen until like recently so I was kind of alarmed so then I stopped just I stopped Starbucks completely and went to Dunkin so my Dunkin order is a medium iced coffee with two pumps of vanilla and one cream their cream does not bother me which so weird but it doesn't and so that's what I get Duncan. I'll switch it up too. Like sometimes I'll add caramel into it um, instead of vanilla. Like it just depends on the day. It depends on what I'm feeling. Sometimes I won't get a medium. It just totally depends. Um, so yeah, but I don't know if it's just that Starbucks that's by my house that does that to me. I don't know. Um, couldn't even tell you. It's just, I tried out Starbucks this morning, again, since that, had, since that incident, since the dramatic incident, and I got a grande caramel macchiato iced, because honestly, that's just kind of like a safe thing for me, as, you know, I tried to get, avoid anything with, my original Starbucks order was venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew with one extra pump of vanilla but I just had too many incidences with that drink so I stopped getting it and just kind of put more and just kept going to Duncan and honestly I've never had a problem with Duncan um so yeah, it has to do probably with the cream they're using. It probably is old. I don't know, but Starbucks, if you're watching this, which I know you're not, but get with the, get with the program because if your workers are using old milk, that's a problem. But yeah, so it just is what it is. But yeah, okay, so. I'm getting towards the front of my hair and I'll, kind of, I'll show you guys what I do with the front with the straightener because my bangs are shorter than normal so or what I usually have thanks shout out to Hannah Anderson my hair person forever until she dies <laughs> um and until something traumatic happens um yeah, she'll always be my hairdresser. But she and I, <laughs> it's a long story. Story for another time. But, yeah. Okay. So as I get towards the front more, I'm going to stop doing the towards my face. Because I feel like, I don't know. I feel like that kind of looks weird when I do that. But yeah, I'm super excited to go on vacation. I feel like... I'm lucky enough my parents have a place in Tampa. Um, we have a place here in Georgia and then a place in Tampa and I'm super excited that I get to stay down there for New Year's. Um, the weather's gonna be super nice and it gives me another option for creating content because I know I'm not supposed to say it but like and I know people complain when influencers say like oh you should just not be you know you should be creative where you're at and like not have to travel blah 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 but to be honest like I feel like we all kind of get can get into ruts and our content can get repetitive and you kind of like get uninspired so when you go to a new place I feel like that helps a lot um personally it helps me so I'm not even going to apologize for it but um I'm just grateful that I do have that opportunity and option to do that. So my boyfriend and I are going to be 
taking the drive tomorrow and we're driving straight to go take pictures. So I'm attempting to do my makeup in the car. So that should be quite interesting because I have a full, full routine that I do, but um, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so after I curl, and I don't hold these on for long because I don't want them to be too curly. Okay, so once I hold them, I'm actually gonna leave that piece until I actually do the other, but I actually don't touch my curls at all on this side. Um, I just move to the next side. And I keep going from there and I'll just repeat the same thing over here. Um, I also would like to talk about just updates, um, 2021 goals that I've had. Um, I actually wrote down a ton of goals for myself. I usually am not like that and it's so bad, but this, these past few months just working for myself, I feel like I need structure and goals and everything like that. Um, I want to film, now that I have like an easier camera to film stuff with, um, I want to film kind of like a day in the life of what I do because a lot of people I feel like have asked me like, oh my gosh, I would love to know like what you do, like how you work for yourself, all of that. So I just realized I curled this the wrong way. Like I can never get the other way on this side. I'm like, I get so confused. But yeah, so I thought I would hopefully be able to do that for you guys soon. This film kind of a day in the life of me, but some of my bigger goals for this year is obviously to continue making money off Instagram, um, working with bigger brands, not so much bigger as, and I don't, I just, I don't know. I'm shooting for the stars. Um, obviously I've met so many amazing people through Instagram and my job and I'm like super excited hopefully launching my business in 2021 so keep an eye out for that and yeah kind of just I guess posting more on TikTok and YouTube and and obviously like Instagram IGTVs um, reels just pushing out as much content as I can um, cause I feel like I've just, this, these past few months have just been so good for me, feeling inspired, everything like that. So I'm super excited. If you have any recommendations on what I should film or videos, just let me know, but I'm going to finish my hair and then I'll come back and show you how I do the front pieces. Okay, so I have curled all the pieces. I kind of didn't mean to curl this one, but so I have my front bangs and this is what Hannah taught me to do <laughs> um, is to take them and you're going to pull them up like this and you're going to take your straightener and you're kind of just going to run it through lightly and like pull the pieces, like curl them back. So it gives you like this, like fanned out effect, if that makes sense. And then sometimes like what I'll do is for this side, like just go and curl them a little bit more. Sometimes I will curl them like a lot. Sometimes I 
won't worry about it too much but yeah that's kind of the situation so then after i have all my hair curled i'll go in and i know this is kind of dumb but i'll straighten the ends just so because i kind of like the more messier look so i'll just go in and lightly curl i mean um, straighten this and honestly it does make a huge difference probably need to whatever that piece is doing <laughs> just run it through yeah so once that is done i'll probably go back in and just kind of fix any pieces that were not curled enough and sometimes with these front pieces you kind of have to like mess with them because sometimes they just like become straight and I don't like that but so then I'll just kind of run my fingers through my hair like that and then I'll take I like the way hair oil and I'll just have like two pumps on my hands and I'll run it through my ends. This stuff smells amazing. It's so good. Honestly, I don't always like to do hairspray, especially if I know I'm about to sleep on these curls because I don't want it to be like crunchy and sometimes if they get messed up in the middle of the night, I can just like go in and touch them up and I don't have to worry about like hairspray. But I will do, let me make sure I have all my ends covered in oil. Okay. What I'll do to kind of keep my bangs up a little bit is I'll take some dry shampoo and I'll spray it so it gives it a little texture without making it like obviously sticky like hairspray would. And this is like my biggest hack for anyone that wants volume but doesn't want to put like massive amounts of hairspray in their hair and make it like all crunchy. And I'll just kind of like massage it in my head and yeah that's it that is the finished look I love these curls I wear them all the time I wear them in so many photos I even will mess around like and do half up half down here with these curls these curls last me a good amount of um, days and I feel like it's so effortless and like beachy and I'm just obsessed and honestly short hair is here to stay for me this is this literally doesn't take me like long at all and i think it's so cute and it looks healthy and fresh and yeah so there it is thank you guys so much for watching i'm so excited for the new year i'm excited to push out more youtube content i'm so excited to be connecting with you guys i've actually had a few of you dm me on instagram saying you found me through youtube and then you found me through tiktok and all this stuff so i'm super excited to get to know all of you guys and chat more about life about instagram about fashion hopefully i'll have like a few more fashion videos coming up soon now that i have a camera i can film those with so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i am so excited to see you guys in the next video bye